I know my welcome back to my channel guys uh, before I start working on the car please help me subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so every time I have a new video you guys will be updated but I'm working on a 2016 Chevy Malibu 2.5 here so the uh, code I'm trying to fix is the uh, crankshaft precision sensor here P0335 I'm not worrying about the uh, hood switch right now and uh, right now the car is having a little bit of uh, extended uh, cranking you can hear it takes a little bit too long uh, a little bit long to uh, start up the car is usually it should fire it up right away just like and right away but this is long extended crank yeah, you can hear it's a little bit long but uh so here is the part that i already bought uh the uh, crank sensor that's the uh, part number and this is what the uh, crank sensor looked like. Here you go. Uh, for this one, the uh, crankshaft position sensor is located a little bit on top of the uh, starter. So you're gonna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery and then uh, remove the uh, starter. There's one bolt right here, the uh, battery cable, the connector. And then there's one bolt like on top of the starter, that's which is holding on to the starter. So that one's gonna be the hard one. So I already took out the uh, starter and I moved it to the side. Um, I have a lot of room, my hand is small so I can sneak my way in. But if it's too hard for you guys, uh, you guys can take out the uh, exhaust mount bolt right here and the uh, two bolts right here. So that way you can move it to the side. Uh, for the starter bolt, the hard one, I can show you up here. Let me zoom in. There you go, that's the uh, crank uh, sensor right there. And then uh, for the uh, bolt right here, that's the hard one. I used the uh, 3.8 adapter with the uh, 13 millimeter and just kind of feel the bolt and then break it loose. Um, you can see I took out the starter and I see somebody worked on the uh, connector and it's kind of messed up a little bit. They broke the lock on the connector and uh, I kind of loosened out the uh, 10 millimeter right there to take out the sensor. So take out the sensor and then uh, you can move the connector and the sensor out. Move it down to where you have room to disconnect it. So I took out the uh, crank sensor. Now for the uh, connector, this one's messed up so I want to work on it before. But you're going to press on this tab and try to pull it out. It's kind of hard, someone broke this already. This is the old one right here. Here's my new one. Everything is exactly the same. I don't know why there's a little bit of oil inside the... I don't even know how the oil gets inside the sensor. Now I can see all the... Uh, that's not oil, that's like a, like mud water or something. That's leaking down to the sensor. So you can see. And uh, since you're here... Um, since you're here, check out the uh, connector too. Uh, you can see the connector is kind of uh, wet right here. Make sure to check the uh, wire. Make sure it's not damaged or broken. Make sure the pin inside is good. I'm going to clean this out. I'm going to blow the air and clean this out. So I put my new sensor in already. Um, I, I cleaned out the uh, connector too, so I'm just going to put it back. Go. Oh, there you go, it clicks. So that's it. You can see the connectors in. Now I'm just gonna put back my uh, starter. So you can see I put back the starter already, the uh, battery cable, the uh, 13 millimeter. And uh, I didn't have to take out the exhaust because I sneaked my way in through here. And uh, for the uh, top bolt of the starter, the hard one, so this is what I did use the uh, 3 8 adapter the 13 and I put a piece of napkin or a little piece of paper in like this and make the shove the bolt in make it tight and um, kind of feel your way in there and then just tighten it down I reconnect my uh, negative battery on the terminal already uh, right now I have the key on I disconnected the uh, battery so I don't think it's gonna show you any code but uh, let me see if it still show up 
cold went away so i'm not worrying about this cold but i'm just gonna clear it and then i'm gonna start the car clear successful there you go turn off the car it cranks up right away so before it extended crank so it was like nye, 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 boom. and now it's just in it boom i'm gonna try it again Yep, right away. So uh, that is it for this video, guys. Just a crank position sensor replace. Uh, if you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.